Hello everyone, Jamie Starr for the New World News Network. On this episode, I want to get into Dr. Drew and what just went on with him. This is amazing, um, and it really shows you what you have to look forward to in a Clinton presidency. Dr. Drew came out in an interview and said nothing conspiratorial. That's Clinton's big defense on this. Oh, talking about my health, that's sexist. That's a conspiracy theory. And I mean, they really... it. <sighs> The Democrats, I mean, it's it's amazing to me that Democratic supporters think that they're the ones that care about people when they basically treat their following as if they are the biggest morons, as if they are supposed to forget that they were pushing for McCain's health records and everything. Rebel Media does a really great video on this. Um, I don't know if Ezra hosted it or who did. I think he did, but it was very well put together going through everything we have on record. Not even getting into the conspiracy stuff, but the stuff that's all on record about her falling, blood clots, everything like that. Dr. Drew came out, he spoke about it, and like a week later, like they didn't even wait a month. It wasn't even, you know, wondering about it. And here you see, and this is the whole thing, is they don't understand. You fire someone as high profile as Dr. Drew right away, it, they're either brazen or they're incompetent. Because you fire someone as high profile as Dr. Drew right away, and then it's it's automatically going to solidify questions. Like, it's like, all right, well, if there's nothing there to be asked, then why'd you punish this guy just for speculating? So, um... Let's get into a couple minutes of what he said about it, because I think one of the things that he brings up is not even questioning her health, but questioning the treatment she's getting, and the fact that there seems to be something very wrong with the treatment for her. Her medical records some time ago, and if you listen to my show last week, I just, I just called a friend of mine, Dr. Robert Heising, who is an excellent internist pulmonologist, and we just dispassionately sat and evaluated the medical record that she had released. And based on the information that she has provided and her doctors have provided, we were gravely concerned, not just about her health care, not about her health, but her health care. What? Now, one thing I want to <clears throat> bring up is there was something that was released saying it was a medical record of hers, but I think it was a fake. And the media has tried pointing to that as saying, well, that was fake, therefore there's no reason to be asking about her health whatsoever. Um... So, I don't know if that's what he's talking about right here. I would like clarification on that, but if that was a fake document, it really then shows how awful of a scenario this is, because Dr. Drew just could have came out and said, oh, well, I was speaking on a document that it turns out wasn't official, I made an ass of myself, I'm sorry, move on, therefore. But if you can't even speculate over a fake document without having your career just abruptly cut short, that's bad. Well, it's, it's hard for people to understand. I mean, both, both of us concluded that if we were providing the care that she was receiving, we'd be ashamed to show up in the doctor's lounge. We'd be laughed out. It's, it's, she's receiving sort of 1950-level sort of care by our evaluation. So we, we took a look at her record, and here are the basic facts. She had two episodes of what's called deep venous thrombosis. Common problem, blood clots in the leg. She also has hypothyroidism, and she's been treated for hypothyroidism with something called Armour Thyroid, which is very unconventional and something that we used to use back in the 60s. And both he and I went, hmm, that's weird. And by the way, wow, uh, Armour Thyroid sometimes has some weird side effects. Oh, well, okay, so she goes on Coumadin. That's weird uh, because Coumadin really isn't even used anymore. Now we use Eliquis or Xarelto, things like this. Certainly the, somebody, the presidential candidate, would get one of the newer anticoagulants. Then she falls, hits her head, and as a complication of that, has something called a transverse sinus thrombosis. This is an exceedingly rare clot. I've only seen one of these in my career, which is a clot in the collecting system for the cerebral spinal fluid. And it essentially guarantees that somebody has something wrong with their coagulation system. Well, she's had two clots, a transverse sinus thrombosis. What's wrong with her coagulation system? Has that been evaluated? And oh, by the way, armor thyroid associated rarely with hypercoagulability. So the very medicine the doctors are using may be causing this problem, and they're using an old-fashioned medicine to treat it. What is going on with her health care? It's bizarre. i got to tell you, look, maybe they have reasons, but at a distance, it looks bizarre. There ought to be some sort of standard for people that are going to lead the country or are going to be making these important decisions. 
this again, Hillary may be fine with all of this. I mean, it's it's dangerous and it's concerning, but you can see. And by the way, when she there are two other things that gravely concerned us. When she hit her head, she had to wear these prism glasses right. when she came out. Right. That is brain damage, and so that and it's affecting her balance. Tell us a little more about that. That's profound. And then number two, when they screened her for heart disease, again, they did an old-fashioned screen. It just seems like she's getting care from somebody that she met in Arkansas when she was a kid. And uh, I just, you got to wonder. So, um, and also, again, Rebel Media, their video really goes into all of Hillary's health stuff that's been on record in detail. There was a specific point I was going to add that I'd... I'd forgotten. Um, Dr. Drew, in the video, though, talks about, they bring up Donald Trump, and they're like, oh, well, you know, the media keeps saying that he's, like, sociopathic, and that he's this, this, and that. And Dr. Drew just came out and said, you never see it where if someone is a true sociopath, that they have a family as well put together as them. And they were like, oh, yeah, but he's a billionaire, so if they're just around him for the money. And Dr. Drew is, again, if you know anyone who's a sociopath, money isn't going to subside that. It will exacerbate it. So Dr. Drew says, no, it's, it's completely super rare for someone to be a sociopath, then with that level of power and resource, to have people actually like them, to be able to continue on good business dealings and to make it to that level of success because the only person you care about is yourself. He said, if anything, I see Donald Trump as being sort of hypomanic. Like, and he also brings up when he says that, he says, these are not strictly pejorative terms. It very well could be a good thing that you want a president with a level of hypomania because you want them to have the energy and to be bombastic enough to be able to handle everything coming at them throughout the day. So he does defend Donald Trump in that regard where people try to make him out to seem like he's crazy in some sort of way. But again, just questioning Hillary Clinton's health and all of this stuff, um... There's stuff in emails that came out about her being on Pro Provigil, which is narcolepsy medicine, um, her being chronically tired and having um, like some sort of fatigue disorder thing where she just lashes out at people. There's very weird videos of handlers coming up to her and everything like that. And, um, you know, people are wondering if it's... Things like, you know, I'm surprised no one yet has tied it together to this video of Bill Clinton, where he's sort of under mind control in a hypnotic, like, trance. And I wonder how much of that is going on when you have the handler come up to her and start saying words to her that she'll just repeat. Like, I almost wonder, you know, people think he's some sort of, like, concierge doctor or something. I almost wonder if he's, like, a mind control handler. Like, if there's a level of hypnotic training, and that's how he's able to kind of snap her back in. Because we've seen this in people in these positions of power. They've had presidents where they just shoot them up with Ativan and speed, and then roll them out to give a press conference, and then they just sit them back down in a wheelchair and pretend everything's fine. This has gone on before. Um, I think it's really... What's going on is you have Hillary, um, who's paid her dues and done what she's needed to do within the inner circles and the inner workings of the power structure, and that this is just guaranteed to her, and that she doesn't care that she's damn near on her deathbed. This has been her childhood dream, and nothing will take it from her. No amount of blood being shed, no amount of her own sickness, and it really adds another level. You know, I remember hearing someone being interviewed on Alex Jones, and they basically said that they could lobotomize Hillary Clinton and put her brain in a jar and elect it, and it would be on the same level. And it's really starting to seem like that, so... I just figured I would cover this, the Dr. Drew backlash. If you're interested in stuff on Hillary's health, like I said, the Rebel Media video, check out Mike Cernovich. Um, Paul Joseph Watson goes into this a lot. 
I don't know if this is going to be the nail in the coffin. I have to say, out of everything that involves the Clintons, this is a really weak one, but it's a really damning one, too. So we'll see how this all unfolds. It To me, it just seems like it. this might be the, you know, thing that gets pulled last minute. You know, she can't get on. You know, we've never had a situation like this where the president passes away right before the election, and instead of putting up the vice, Obama will stay in office or something. I still think think that's our most likely outcome. Something is going to happen that's going to have Obama stay in office, and maybe even Hillary might have to fight against Obama. Who knows? The, this, it's, it's, being, it's building to something crazy, though. So, subscribe to the channel, check out the other videos, have a good one, everyone.